Hi guys, I'm very excited to share how I have my refrigerator and freezer organized. I just wanted to give you a quick view of the outside of my refrigerator. And I do get asked a lot about which refrigerator we have. We have the Frigidaire uh, Smudge Proof series. So it's very, very nice. Um, it really is easy to clean, which was kind of a must for me. I think it would drive me crazy if I had fingerprints all over my refrigerator all of the time. Okay, let's have a look inside. I'll just give you an overall view really quickly. This is one of the doors. I did wanna say, at my old house I had an older refrigerator and I had it organized a little bit differently. So I'm going to link that below. I did do that video when I first started YouTube, but I think it has a lot of good tips in it and a lot of you have mentioned that you found it helpful. So maybe between that video and this one, um, you can find some good information and good tips to help you. So I'm just going to go shelf by shelf and let you know what I have on each shelf and how I have it organized. I did get one of these egg holders. Um, you can write the expiration date on it, which I think is nice, and it just comes off. Um, you can just rub it off and it's like a dry erase type of thing, so you don't have to worry about putting them in there and having no idea when they expire. So I just thought that looked nice for them, the carton. And then I keep all of my leftovers up here. I sometimes have a ton of leftovers, but I'm recording this on Tuesday morning and usually we eat a ton of leftovers on the weekend and um, you know, we kind of add to it uh, throughout the week. But I like this because we see them and they aren't getting you know shoved in the back of the refrigerator. So that just makes it easier to you know make sure they don't go to waste. On this smaller shelf here, I have this little bin that I got at Bed Bath & Beyond for our cheese. And I love this because you can open it up, but you don't have to like take the whole thing out and remove a lid and everything. It just makes it easy to grab it out of there. And I use the Dollar Tree chalkboard labels to label that. And then I have this bin here. This is just a shoebox from the Dollar Tree. And this is labeled lunch stuff. I keep our bread in here. Sometimes I make things for my boys' lunches, which I'm planning to do today, and I'll just keep them in there so they can grab them out of there. Like if I make pepperoni rolls or if I make, um, I'm going to do sort of like French bread pizzas. Um, sometimes I have hummus and pita bread and stuff they like. I just put it in there. Um, that way it's all contained and they can grab it quickly in the morning when they're making their lunches. And then sometimes if I have something that I'm going to have for dinner, I just put it back there if it needs to thaw. That way it's out of the way, um, but you know it's still in the refrigerator. And then we keep our almond milk over here because there is no shelf above so it fits nicely over here and if we have any other beverages there's plenty of room here and I could really suck up if I wanted to and fit all of that there. I keep my baby spinach container here. I buy this pretty much every week and it won't fit in my vegetable drawer so this is a good spot for it and it's kind of with all of the vegetables. Um, you guys know that we have pet tortoises and they eat mostly romaine lettuce and some other greens and tomatoes and stuff and they eat quite a bit throughout the week because they're only eating lettuce. Um, so this drawer here is designated for them so it just says tortoise food and I have all of their romaine in there. Now if you want to store lettuce you could totally use this. Um, I used to keep it in a bag with a cloth napkin to kind of absorb the moisture um, and that works really well, but I found that I can just put the cloth napkin in the bottom of the drawer and then leave it in the drawer and it stays a little bit fresher and also it looks a little bit nicer than having an extra bag in there. And then this one here is labeled fruit. Um, I have a bowl of strawberries, a bowl of raspberries. We eat this really quickly in our house. I just um, washed and cut these last night and I imagine they'll be mostly gone by tomorrow. I have my lemons that I cut for my water 
And then I just have a couple containers of watermelon. I like to put these in containers when I cut it uh, so that we can grab them for lunches or when I um, go to the gym. It just saves time so that you don't have to scoop it all out of the big bowl and everything. It's just nice to have it like that. So sometimes I have this whole drawer stacked full of these smaller um, containers. And because it was a watermelon, and watermelon is huge, and I can only usually divide half of it up at a time, I have this big bowl back there with the rest of the watermelon. So I can always keep extra fruit back there as well. I have this drawer here, and it is labeled vegetables. I did want to mention some of our fruit is in fruit bowls on the counter. I have two big fruit bowls, so I keep apples and pears and bananas. I have a pineapple there, avocados, um, stuff like that. So I don't keep everything in the refrigerator, so this isn't all of our fruits and vegetables. But here I have all of our vegetables, so carrots and shredded carrots. I keep my onions in a Ziploc freezer bag with a cloth napkin that just absorbs the moisture so they last a little longer. I've mentioned that before. And any bags of vegetables that I get from Trader Joe's um, go in here as well. I keep my peppers in here. I just got these yesterday. Um, any vegetables for salads. Um, I have some cilantro here. Even though I have a cilantro plant, it can't keep up with my cilantro use. Um, sometimes I keep my herbs in a bag with a cloth napkin again, um, just so that it absorbs the moisture. But I've been trying it out to see if it would stay fresher, just keeping it in this drawer without being covered, um, and that way it stays a little drier. So that's just something I'm trying out. Um, but the bag with the cloth napkin works really well. And then I have the shelves on the door here. And I'll kind of let you know how I chose to divide the stuff on the shelves rather than just throwing it all in there. So on the top, I have my dry buttermilk. I use that for making ranch dressing. I have my yeast. I like to keep this in the refrigerator once it's open because it stays fresh a lot longer. Now I chose to put all of the condiments and sauces and things that I use for making dinner on one shelf and that way it's not mixed in with the ketchup and mustard and mayonnaise and you know I just need to grab the soy sauce and I have to search through a bunch of bottles. So I have soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, I know I pronounced that incorrectly. I have sriracha, some red curry paste, um, tomato paste, and then I usually make my own salsa and I grab this at Trader Joe's and I don't think it tastes that good, but someone will eat it. So um, I just have that there. I have our nut butters and jams or preserves here. That just makes it easy. My boys take peanut butter a lot and that way, um, you know, they can know where to find that instead of looking amongst the ketchup and mustard and all of that. On the bottom shelf here, I have our condiments. So I have mayonnaise, maple syrup, mustard, ketchup, and then if I make a dressing and want to keep it in the refrigerator, I'll put the little jar here. I do have this Caesar dressing left from making Caesar salad, so that way, you know, we can find everything really easily and it stays pretty neat. On this side, I don't have a ton. This is where our ice maker, uh, the ice shoots through. I have our extra butter here. I normally have our butter container here, but it is in the dishwasher. And then if I have open bags of flour, I usually keep them in the refrigerator just so they stay fresh. So I usually fill up my canister, um, but sometimes there's a little bit more depending on what was in the canister, you guys know that. Um, and I just keep it in the refrigerator so it stays fresh. So now I'm going to show you what's in my freezer. Okay, here's an overall look of my freezer. It has this deep drawer here, and then it also has this here that you can pull out. I have to say I love having 
a drawer freezer. It's very easy to organize and very easy to keep neat and it just works really well. So let me start with this area and show you how I have everything organized. So because these are like our main things that we're always grabbing, I put these here so that we don't have to open the uh, drawer on top, if that makes sense. So this basket says guys on it, and that might seem silly, but my guys, they don't always know what I'm using things for, like if I need it for a dinner, and sometimes they can't find things. So I just have this big basket here, and this is all food that they would grab to make. So I have waffles, and tater tots, and french fries, and sometimes I have like fish nuggets or um, I got these chicken dromellas. Um, sometimes I have frozen pizzas and things like that in there. And that way, if they want to make any of this after school or on the weekends or whatever, they can just grab from there and that's easy for them to find. And I did just label these with my label maker here just so that it's easy for everybody to find. And then this basket is for my smoothie. So I have my bags of frozen fruit and berries in there. And then I have my frozen bananas here. And there's a little bit of room over here on this side. And I just have my ice cube trays. We do have an ice cube maker, but I use mine for lime juice and lemon juice. The one down there is for lemon juice. I don't have any in there currently, but I have shown how if I buy a big bag of lemons or limes, I just juice them and keep them in the ice cube trays. I divide it by one tablespoon and that way if I need you know a tablespoon of lime juice or lemon juice I can just um, pop it out of the ice cube tray. So I do have ice cube trays for that. I have a couple of ice packs. If I have any extra freezer bags that I'm going to reuse I put them along this side just so that they're nice and neat. And let me show you what I have in this drawer here. I did want to mention all of these aqua baskets are from the Dollar Tree. I have a few different ones. I have this pattern, which went really quickly at the Dollar Tree, and then I have this pattern here. And again, I use my label maker for all the labels. So I like to buy extra bread a lot of times because I, I never really know how much we're going to use and bread happens to go stale pretty easily. So I keep our extra bread in a Ziploc bag. So I have a couple loaves of it there. I have my gluten-free bread there, which I usually just use for breadcrumbs, so I just keep it in the freezer. I have some extra pita bread here, and then I have a Ziploc bag full of tortillas here. So this is all of our bread and tortillas and stuff like that. And sometimes I'll get stuff from Panera from our church and I can keep that in there as well. I have a bin for vegetables. I have shown in food prep videos how I freeze our beans. So I keep all of the little bags of beans here. And I don't buy a ton of frozen vegetables. Um, I usually get fresh, so I don't have to have a huge basket for them. But I do get the um, frozen organic corn from Trader Joe's that I mix in with like beans and corn um, enchiladas and stuff like that. So I usually have those in there as well. I have a bin back here for meat, and I just have a couple packs of meat. My mom gave me some burgers that she had left over from Mother's Day that she didn't grill, and we're gonna have a big get together on Memorial Day. So I have those in there. I have our chicken that we're going to eat this week, and there's an extra one back there, chicken breast. So um, I have those, and you know, your family might be completely different in what you eat, so you could, of course, arrange this any way you wanted, of course, um, but if you needed a bigger one for meat, if you stock up, you could just arrange it differently and have a couple baskets for meat or, or whatever you like to do. And then this one is miscellaneous. And I keep just like a bunch of miscellaneous things in there. I have some frozen lemon zest. I have this bag of vegetables that I use for vegetable broth, like the ends of onions and carrots and celery and stuff like that. And I've shown how to do the vegetable broth in my food prep videos. I have some ginger 
and then I have all of this cubed bread for croutons. So just any extra stuff that I have in there. Like if I opened up a can of tomatoes and didn't use them all, I would stick that in here. Um, the same goes for tomato paste. I've been using the two, but before I would freeze extra tomato paste and stuff like that. So that's just easy and that way I know where to find it. So guys, I hope I gave you some helpful tips on how to organize your refrigerator and freezer. And if you would like to check out the video that I did a while back at my old house, I will link that below. Thank you very much for watching.